The speech meant for the Muslim world was heard throughout the Muslim world. So long as our relationship is defined by our differences, we will empower those who sow hatred rather than peace. As President Barack Obama spoke in Cairo, his image was broadcast in places like Iraq, Afghanistan, Israel, Gaza, and the West Bank. Hassan Jassim watched at an internet cafe in Baghdad. He says Muslims don't want only words, they want deeds. Bilal Hussein Lifta agreed, saying the speech is mere words. He said, let's wait and see the deeds. Mithwan Hussein calls Obama a brave president. He says we hope he will open a new chapter with the Islamic world and Arab nations. The speech was also closely watched in Kabul. Mohammed Abbas calls Obama's speech very good, but he remains skeptical of American actions, saying the U.S. just wants to occupy Muslim countries. In Jerusalem, Sami Havroni called the speech an interesting and new approach, but he added Israel will pay the price for what will happen eventually. This Israeli settler in the West Bank was skeptical. I believe that Obama has overreached himself. I don't believe that he can enforce what he would like to enforce. Hamas legislator Mahmoud Amari was equally dubious. And Mr. Obama asked Hamas to, to stop their rockets in the same moment he didn't speak of anything about uh, 1,500 Palestinians killed in the last uh, invasion of Israel in Gaza. Mohammed Kuder watched from a tent in the Gaza Strip. <laughs> he says Obama's speech is only in favor of Arab countries, not Gaza. He questions how Palestinians and Hamas can heed Obama's call to recognize Israel when his home was demolished. While there's disagreement in the Muslim world over Obama's goals, he has sparked a conversation by taking his message directly to a part of the world long at odds with the U.S. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.